Anthony, Mark chapter 13. Yes. Now, yes. this has been exciting all the way through, but the yes. excitement doesn't end. It continues it's right through this chapter. Right. I love this. I uh, love this 13th chapter. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. Yes. Well, uh, mm -hmm. well let's, uh, let's just dive in and see what we mm. find. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Jesus, says, And as he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what wonderful stones and what wonderful buildings. Second verse. And Jesus said to him, do you see these great buildings? There will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives mm -hmm. opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, tell us when will these things be and what will be the sign when all these things were about to be accomplished? Mm -hmm. And Jesus began to say to them, See that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And they will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. These are but the beginning of the birth pains. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mamas. It's a, mm. really a strong then. Verse 9. But be on your guard, for they will deliver you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them. And the gospel must first be proclaimed to all nations, and when they bring you to trial and deliver you over, do not be anxious beforehand what you are to say, but say whatever is given you in that hour, mm -hmm. for it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Verse 12, And brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against mm -hmm. parents and have them put to death, mm -hmm. and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. Amazing wow. material. Isn't it? Unbelievable. This it is, is amazing. It is. Right. Yeah, and it has created an awful lot of disagreement, I have mm, to say, mm. from preterism, has introduced some of these terms, which says that the second coming of Jesus was in 70 AD. Right. That's full preterism. But then variations of that, that most of all this is all over by 70. Mm. Others that know most of it, if not all, is mainly future. So mm. if I could just make this proposition, the problem, if that's what it is, I don't think ultimately is a problem. The problem that's been perceived by readers is this. How is it that he's looking at those buildings there and then proceeds to talk about the second coming mm -hmm. when you've got a period of tribulation mentioned, which if you think is 70 AD, when those, those buildings collapsed, mm -hmm. they're stuck with immediately after that, Jesus is coming back. Well, that doesn't work well. Mm -hmm. That famous immediately after, yes. Mark's version is going to be in those days after that yes. tribulation. Right, right. That has been the crux for commentators, because patently, immediately after, or in those days after that great tribulation, Jesus didn't come back. That's been the problem. Right, right, right. How right. are we going to solve it? I think we yes. can solve it. Some clergy gave up the whole business of being a clergy on that text. By the way. Oh my goodness. Oh, for goodness sake. They said, Jesus got this wrong. <laughs> His name was Sidgwick. A Church of England clergyman gave up being a pastor. <laughs> also, on this generation, well, not past all these things have happened. That must be 40 years, so it's all over in 40 years. Yes, yes. That has been... It's almost, you know, the Bible is designed and written that if you want to stumble, you can. Yes, yes, I yes. I don't think I understand that fully, but it isn't patent always without a bit of investigation. Mm -hmm. So the other problem, Dan, I just mentioned is this. People have said, okay, what part of this text in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, all parallel, what part of it refers to 70 AD, that temple? And what part of it refers to the future second coming? 
which you and I certainly think hasn't happened yet. Yes. Yeah. That's been the problem. Yeah. Now the attempts to say it's in this verse or that verse or that verse, all disagree with each other. That suggests to me the theory is wrong. Mm. Mm. It's really one united story, one script. Mm. Mm. So how are we going to deal with that? Let's leave that until we get through it and I'll suggest how we do. Mm. It's really one talk. Excellent. And also this was one um, lecture by Jesus, not yes. three. Yes, yes, yes. It's the same one That's lecture right. reported as reporters mm -hmm. always do with emphasis on different things, not contradicting each other, but nevertheless stressing mm -hmm. different things. Right. One thing that before we leave this particular section, mm. some things are pretty pretty apparent. We're talking about people being deceived. Yes. Uh, that we're not then looking forward to this event with the picture of the road being rosy, if you could put it that way. It's going to be difficult going there. Yes. And the possibility of e even the, the Christians, as it were, yes, yes, being yes, deceived yes. is very possible. So these these are difficult times, difficult Absolutely. things as we move toward them. That's exactly, and, I'm glad you mentioned that, yeah. because remember in the parallel, and we always keep the parallel in Paul, is the man of sin. The man of sin in Paul is this evil guy mm -hmm. at the end, mm -hmm. whom Jesus kills at the second coming. Exactly the same language there. Even more, in fact, of course, don't let you be yourselves be deceived by any mm. fake letter, fake spirit. Mm. By all means, you mustn't get this wrong. Yes, yes. Jesus is saying the same thing. So we'd be on our guard then to do our utmost not to be deceived by the various conflicting attempts to describe what this says. And uh, amazing things about uh, being very much persecuted. Yes. Uh, even close family members turning against one another. I don't like that. Uh, it's horrible. It's, it's not, terrible stuff. It's not pleasant time. No, it's no. Exactly. Dragged before governors, governmental yes. authorities, flogged. Yes. Paul, of course, was beaten. True. You know, till the Absolutely. Romans intervened and saved him a little bit. So this is being a Christian. Do we yeah. do we realize this? I thought being a Christian was being a wonderful person. Everybody yeah. loves you. <laughs> Apparently, that is not what Jesus was talking. That's about. right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we should be beware when all men speak uh, well of you. Uh, <laughs> then maybe maybe you're not doing well here if you're if everybody thinks you're. Because that's guy. what they said about the fake prophets. Yeah, that's right. You're bringing in the other texts. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay. okay, let's continue then, and we'll see how this unfolds. Mm, uh, verse fourteen. Yes. But when you see the abomination of desolation mm. standing where he ought not to be. Good. Where he ought not to is correct, yes. Let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Mm -hmm. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down, nor enter his house, mm -hmm. take anything out. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. Mm -hmm. And alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days, mm -hmm. Pray that it may not happen in winter. For in those days there will be much such tribulation has not been from the beginning of the creation that God created until now, and never will be. Mm. And if the Lord had not cut short those days, no human being would be saved. Mm. But for the sake of the elect whom he chose, he shortened the days. And then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or look, there he is. Do not believe it, for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. Mm -hmm. But be on guard. I have told you all things beforehand. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? First one I think that needs to be made is this. The Great Tribulation, whatever and whenever that is, mm -hmm cannot be a period of 2,000 years. Yes. I'll tell you why, because it says that those days will be tough for pregnant women. That's the most important connection in verse 18 and verse 17, right? Right. Woe to those who are pregnant, to those who are nursing babies, in those days, verse 19, I should have said 17 and 19, for those days, what days? The days of the Great Tribulation will be a time of tribulation, he says it, such as has never been, never will be again. It is utterly impossible on any common sense natural use of language that we're talking about a period of thousands of years. Yeah, 
uh, because certainly women having difficulty would not be a unique circumstance to a great tribulation yeah. when you're, if you're spreading it's it over nonsense. millennia. Yes, yes, yes. It's just nonsense. Yeah. And the, the reason that is, is critical, we're coming to it when you get, get to reading 24, in those days after that tribulation, yes. the parallel of Matthew, if people want to take a note of the parallel, it is immediately after the tribulation of those days. So you see what's happening here? He's transporting us into the future just before the second coming, yes. and yet he'd been talking about those buildings. That's the sure. issue. Now I say you can solve that if you think abraically. Jesus also said to the people in front of him, you guys standing right in front of me, you killed Abel. <laughs> yes. They didn't. Yeah. You also killed Zechariah. That's all the good prophets and people mm -hmm. from Genesis to Second Chronicles, which is the scope of the Hebrew Bible, right. same books as you have exactly, in a different order. No right, problem. right, yes. You killed them all, they didn't. Mm. Oh, but you did, in Hebraic thinking. Yes, in yes. the Hebrew mind grasped, I learned this at U University of Jerusalem way back, 1974, the Hebrew mind grasps a totality. Mm, mm. It looks at this group of evil people in front, and he says, you're exactly the same as the people who killed Abel. Mm. No difference. You are, as, so to speak, one. The one and the many. That's the way Jesus works. Now then, if he looks at those buildings, that would do for any set of buildings on that site. Mm, mm, mm. This is the only way we'll solve the chronological time markers. Mm. Find Otherwise, it just isn't going to work. Mm, mm. But I don't think the need, there's any need for confusion here. Mm -hmm. That you've got to be willing to change your mind here and there to fit in with something that makes better sense. Yes. Verse 24. Mm -hmm. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Mm -hmm. And the stars will be falling from heaven. Mm -hmm. The powers in the heavens will be shaken. And when they see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now that sounds very much as I like the second coming to you, doesn't it? It does to me. That's absolutely, right. and you're absolutely right, because Paul uses the same language about angels and gathering together mm -hmm. in connection with the famous words, I'm going to give you the Greek word, give our, our friends, the audience out there, the Greek word which is parousia. Mm. In speaking of Jesus' parousia, it always means his future second coming. Mm. Mm. It never refers to his first coming, being born. Mm -hmm. It never refers to him coming in 70 AD in judgment, never ever. It only, thankfully, and always means the visible, one single event, stupendous wind-up of this evil age when Jesus comes back. That's just fact. So to say that he's talking about what happened in 70 AD doesn't work. Mm. The moment he's talking about the parousia and the gathering of ourselves and angels accompanying all that, that's future to us. Yeah. And, and I uh, think that makes sense to you from oh, your own oh, extensive surely. studies too. Sure. Well, I think when you begin to um, focus on all the scriptures related to yes. the, the second coming, Absolutely. then all of these things begin to fall into a, really a context. They all fall yeah, into that, that greater picture. That's right. And, uh, yes. That's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Verse 28. Yes. And here we are at the fig tree again. Mm. This is interesting. From the, we talked about that mm. back in chapter 11. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. Mm -hmm. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near yes. at the very gate. Mm -hmm. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Wow. Amazing. Now yeah. that has caused difficulty for people. We've agreed that he's been talking about the second coming. Mm -hmm. Obviously. And now he suddenly says, all these things, including the second coming in the conversation, is going to happen one generation. Yes. Now that is a difficulty for some. Yeah. Again, a professor or a clergyman, Sidgwick, gave up the faith entirely on that statement. <laughs> he said, look, My Jesus goodness. was obviously wrong. The second coming did not happen within one generation. The mistake is actually quite explicable. 
The word yenea, that's the Greek word, I'm using the modern Greek pronunciation, I always say that on our videos. Yes. So we're not mis mispronouncing Greek words, the, ways, the modern Greek pronunciation, yenea, uh, that's the way they're doing it at Harvard, by the way, mm -hmm. too. They do their Greek. So, so I understand. That's right. Yeah, Sean learned it that way as yeah. well, having learned it from us first. Mm -hmm. And so, yenea means certainly not race. It doesn't mean the Jewish race is not going to disappear. Yenea is not race. That's yenos, a different word. Yes. Yenea is either generation or age, mm. period mm. of time. Imagine this, when, G when Peter later said, save yourself from the present Yenea, mm. did he really mean the 40-year period within <laughs> which he's speaking? I don't think so. From this evil society. Mm. So I would beseech our listeners to get hold of that idea. Then most of the problems are solved. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're fat out faced with Jesus being wrong, at which point we fold up our books and go home. Exactly. And the, uh, That's all. So we're talking uh, really about uh, a, a term that mm. carries a much broader, wider, That's right. ranging meaning it than does. just a simple that's right 40 years 70 years. yeah whatever you want to call it generation and people right. vary on that as well well the Jehovah's what? Witnesses he set dates based on yes yes that's and right. they all got it wrong yeah. what they need is a little instruction in Yenea which means age period of time particularly the evil age yes. we're living in of course where and Satan is the god yeah. of the age. this age versus the age to come uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. yeah exactly that's the key yeah. That is so good. And all of that comes from Daniel chapter 12, Indeed. where those who rise in the resurrection from the sleep of the dead, mm -hmm. please note, not from being in heaven, but mm -hmm. from the sleep of the dead, they get the life of the age. That's what the Hebrew there says. Mm -hmm. Our Hebrew-speaking friends will like that, the chayye olam, uh, the life of the age. And the rabbis could see it's resurrection mm -hmm. life, so it must be the life of the age age to come. Indeed, indeed. That comes into our modern English as eternal life, very vague. Yeah. Not wrong, right. it is eternal life, but it's quite specifically the life yeah. following this present yeah. evil age into the new age of the kingdom. Mm. That to me is very illuminating. Be better said, we might say that the the life of the age to come mm. is eternal. Absolutely. But that's not the essential meaning that's of that essential. of that phrase, the life of, of the, the age, age to come. come. And of course it lasts forever. And it will last forever. Because it's time. also immortality. And it, and it will be great, and it will be wonderful. Absolutely. But those are all characteristics, and long-lasting, yes. in fact, right. forever. But right. we've kind of short-circuited that yes. by translating it yes. eternal yes. life, when really we're talking about the life of the age to come, which has many characteristics. Among them, yes. it is eternal. I it's love it's that. the same, as we know from other passages, as immortality, which mm. means you can't die forever. No. So I find that... Uh, you know, we've known these things for many years. When I found, came across that, Tom Wright does this very well. Many mm -hmm. translations get it right. Eternal life is really a foggy translation at best. Right. It does last forever, but it's the life of the coming age. Mm -hmm. 41 times in our New Testament. Mm -hmm. Now, these are not small deals, because we're talking about the end of the journey, right? Can you imagine right. going on a journey and you've no idea what the goal is? We don't operate that way. We all ask for a terminus at the end of a period of time and sure. the beginning, don't we? It's the way we work, day by yeah. day. Where's, where's all this going to turn out at? Or yes. where's it all going to end at? What's or, and what's it going to be like? Where are we that? going? That's right. I love it. And going to heaven as an immortal soul when you die is the exact opposite and confusing mm. opposite mm -hmm. of the Bible. So give up talking about going to heaven. You can even say to your friends, Jane, why do you want to go to heaven when Jesus won't be there? It I like that. Yes, I like that too. That makes the point yeah. in a friendly way, perhaps. Yeah. Why not wait for the age to come and mm -hmm. the kingdom and the parousia, mm -hmm. the spectacular one, not a double thing, right. one future arrival of Jesus in splendor and glory to set up the kingdom yeah. and invite you to fix the world with him. Yeah. I didn't hear this in church. Indeed. Well, the, uh, well then let's back up just for a moment mm. then and let's take a, a mm. larger look at this entire Please. picture. Absolutely. What you're presenting to us, mm -hmm. you're saying to our audience that as you enter into the 13th chapter yes. of, of Mark mm -hmm. or the 24th of Matthew mm -hmm. or the 21st of Luke, yes. that it's very helpful, first of all, to get the really large context exactly. of what this business is all about, about the second coming That's right. uh, of crime. Yes. Don't lose sight that there's other scriptures that talk about all this and will help you to 
to frame these particular passages as you begin to look at those. That's exactly scriptures. right. And quite specifically in Matthew 24, the same question that we had at the beginning. You know, no. what, when this going? When is this going to mm -hmm. happen? Matthew 24 is reporting the same words of right. Jesus and explaining them by saying. What will be the sign of your parousia and end of the age? Notice right. I left out the second the deliberately. Yeah. It's not what will be the sign of your coming, one event, and the end of the age too. Right. This is a technical point. You need your technicians in this yeah. business. It's what will be the sign of your coming and end of the age. Yes. So yeah. you fix in your mind forever that the end of the age, the end of the age, yes. five times in the New Testament, mm -hmm is the same precisely as the future policy. Well, and at that point, it's important too, and hopefully our, our viewers have been mm -hmm. understanding this by their own study, or at least yeah. through what we've sure. been saying, sure. that when you see sometimes in your translation, quote, the end of the world, yes, that's a really poor translation. It doesn't, very, very it's very poor. misleading. We're talking yes. about not the end of the world, no. but the end of the age. Ah. And that is the end of the age which now is, yes. and obviously it's still here at, yes. at our moment in time, exactly. and still carrying on, yes. but there is an end to it. Yes. The question is, it hasn't really come yet, so <laughs> we're, we're still looking ahead to the end of it, but happily, there is an age beyond this age. Isn't that wonderful? That is often then what we're referring to as the age to, to come. come. And the thing that will <clears throat> demark the difference mm. between the yes. two is the second coming of Christ. You said it beautifully, it, and maybe it doesn't matter that we're repeating ourselves, yeah, because indeed. this is new to some people. Oh, I've had sure. to learn this, I think you have as a teacher. You tend to be selfish, I do, as a teacher, mm. when I assume that people understand what we're mm. doing. Well, guess what? Maybe they've never heard this before. It, indeed. Then we have to be very patient, because we've been wrong, I think, on many mm. things ourselves, and have had to make adjustments. Okay. But you said it beautifully there. The end of the world is a desperate idea, by the way. Who really wants the end of the world? <laughs> That's right. In fact, That's we right. use that in English, British English at least. Yeah. It's a disaster. Yes, yes. And we say, if this if this happens, it's minor. It will not be the end of the world. That's right. That's because right. the end of the world is the ultimate disaster. That's right. That's and in the Bible, it's yeah. the ultimate joy yeah. of the return of Jesus. Right. So when we're talking about, and you see in your translation, the end of the world, often that brings to mind the idea of the end of the globe, the end of the earth. But that's right. not really what we're talking not about at all. At all. Uh, at all. So you need to take another look and realize, wait a minute, it's not the end of the world. No. It is the end of the age that now is, ushering in an age that will continue forever. And, yes. uh, and there will be no end to Bishop Wright is very helpful here. Tom Wright, famous evangelical uh, scholar, and he says, who wants, you know, the end of the space-time universe? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Do we really want to imagine being beyond right. space and time? Is that meaningful mm -hmm. for you? Indeed. So these translations have very subtly diverted mm -hmm. the reader away from the truth here. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the gospel of the kingdom here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mess with the gospel. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon you haven't got any Christianity mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, yep. then we, uh, we see then that on, during this age, mm. as it were, current age, and particularly as we come to the conclusion of that age, you're still going to be seeing wars and rumors of war. Of That's course, right. we see this even now, now. and we have, mm. yes. but we would expect perhaps it'll be even more cataclysmic than so when we're That's ushering right. in the That's end right. of the age. You yes, know, as such. I'm glad you mentioned that because we had birth pangs, remember Jesus? Yes. Said, now, that's a very Hebraic idea. Mm -hmm. You have birth pangs, guess what's coming at the end? A birth. <laughs> yes, Not yes. The, the wiping out of everything. Right, right. So the birth pangs are the signs leading Beautiful. to the rebirth yeah. of the world. Not right. the end of the world. Mm -hmm. The rebirth of the right. world, which is going to be the new age right. of the kingdom. Yeah. And certainly, uh, I think the uh, uh, that as we progress, mm. the, the second coming of Christ, the end of the age, are still before us. They're still ahead of us. Certainly. And, uh, and Certainly. Uh, I think, so we, we don't want to get into circumstances where we're actually denying those facts. No. I think the, no. that, that great, obvious, apparent That's second right. coming of Christ, we're still looking for that. And, uh, and I think uh, the, the, the terrible times that come 
before that. Yes. We're still really still looking for that. Yes, I would rather say the opposite. It'd be nice to say it's all over, but there's a way of trying to put the future behind you. But you don't want to do that if the future, in fact, is predicted to be before you, in, in exactly. front of you, yeah. ahead of you. Yeah. And whatever one may say, I think the even the buildings that Jesus was referring to, yes. they they certainly are gone they have. He was <laughs> in right. that sense. But uh, yes. there's so there's much still to be yes. in our future. But I think uh, if we keep the that large picture of the second coming yes. of Christ yes. and of the tribulation yes. at, at the end of the yes. age, if you yes. will, That's right. and those things in in perspective, yes. then we can negotiate these pretty well and understand we can, pretty absolutely. well. Absolutely. So and, uh, we're really looking at an abomination of desolation in the future, while not denying there was a kind of foreshadowing sure. you can yeah. do anything you like with 70 AD there were sure. some bad guys sure hard to say exactly because yeah. Titus did not die in that operation exactly and the abomination of desolation yeah. apparently comes to his end at that time in Daniel yeah. 9 so it's not hard but it requires some adjusting of one's sure. thinking in terms of the Hebraic mm -hmm. mind of Jesus well and I think that we can actually say mm -hmm. well just as I, I mentioned a moment ago mm -hmm. over the the large period of time yes. that we are now positioned in uh, going back but there has been tribulation there's mm -hmm. been difficulty there's been women having problems Obviously. and all these things have been going on we find there's been tr uh, all sorts of persecutions of those who stood for yes. Yes. Uh, Jesus and his totally. word all of these things have been going on they all foreshadow perhaps a cataclysmic end exactly. that we're still waiting to see yes. Likewise, you might say there were people who who were pretty abominable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Some yeah. things happening there, but perhaps those are foreshadowings of the actual final uh, in there. All based yeah. on Daniel. Uh, of I've come course, to this, spending yeah. hours on this. Uh, Daniel twelve one two three is the master key to all of what we're saying. Here. Beautiful, because Jesus quotes them all. Very rare that Jesus quotes three consecutive verses. Mm -hmm. But he quotes the end of 12, 1, which is about the Great Tribulation. It's unique. You cannot have two the Great Tribulations. It's a time that never was and never will be. It's unique. Only one. You cannot have two. You can have foreshadowings of it, as you just said nicely, but it's the only time there is. Then in Daniel 12, 2, you've got the resurrection as well. Yeah. At the same time, mm -hmm. I'm amazed that the Bible works at us yeah. not failing to understand. Yeah. Works at trying to get this clear to us by at that mm. time. Yes, yes. The word time occurs four times in Daniel 12, 1. Mm, yeah. And the phrase... Isn't that amazing? That's uh, it's amazing. And the phrase, at that time, yes. occurs twice in the same verse. There's nothing like that in Scripture. Mm. The, the word time would be mm. there. So it's all a matter of timing. This yeah. is what we're discussing. Yes. And uh, I think that, uh, again, um, but in those days, we're talking about now the, in verse 24, the coming, yes. that true... Yes. Second coming of Christ in those days after that tribulation. So again, uh, there's tribulation all along the way. Yeah. If if you wanted to position this matter and say, well, that had to be 70 mm -hmm. A.D. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a period of time of tribulation before that. Absolutely. Coming up to that moment. There was. Or there were there were persecutions mm -hmm. before that. So it's just we're saying, wait a minute, this this time of persecution, trial, mm -hmm. and so on mm -hmm. has gone on. Now yes, for millennia, yes. we're still looking for that the ultimate great tribulation, great tribulation right. to strike, That's of right. which all the rest of this kind of foreshadows. Of course, we are looking for a a uh, man of sin, if you will, this Definitely. abomination business yes. to come, which right. others may have foreshadowed, and that's, they will understand that. Yes, and uh, yes. but uh, but the coming of Christ, the ultimate coming yes. of Christ, we still with joy look forward we're to. Nice. And realize, but there is even a perhaps a harder period Absolutely. of tribulation yes, before the that. One. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And we can say that Hitler was an anti-Christian figure. Yeah. We can say that Stalin was an, but he wasn't the Antichrist. If you're explaining this to people, always go to the Man of Sin in Paul, mm -hmm. Second Thessalonians two, twelve verses there. Which is an important part of the gospel, by the way. This is not stuff yeah. we do when we can't think of anything else to do. <laughs> That's right. And the man of sin <laughs> right. is going to be killed at the parousia. Yes, yes. Well, unless you say the parousia was in 70 AD, which is impossible, yes. what happened to this man of sin who is clearly exactly. future? And it, of course, reflects 1 John 2.18, where John says, You've heard that 
Antichrist, I put a capital A on there because it's a proper noun in effect. Yes, yes. See the commentaries on that one. Yeah. You've heard that the Antichrist is coming, the one single one. But let me tell you something else. Already there are many, of as John wrote, yes. not to the exclusion of, of the that, future yes, Antichrist. Exactly. Now we're getting clarity. Well, and, and so when one begins to look at it from this perspective, at least it makes sense to me, yeah. then you, all of this begins to kind of come a little easier and begin to realize, wait a minute, the great scheme of things, yes. this true, mighty, ultimate mm. coming of Christ mm -hmm. to... Uh, bring an end to this Present current age, age yes. and introduce the age to come. Yes. That is our marker. Yes. That one, we, we must keep our eye on that. Absolutely. Now, whatever else we do yes. or say, perhaps there were yes. foreshadowings yes. of the of, of the terrible tribulation yes. that was going to come, may perhaps have been yes. still before us. But there were horrible things back through time, that's mm. fine. Mm. But now we're expecting perhaps the worst of all of that. That's At right. the moment that Christ comes right. and and the de the right. Antichrist then is yes. destroyed. So we're still waiting on that. That's okay. That's right. And all the other, I think it's a mistake then to try to uh, impose on other circumstances yes. that ultimate yes. that we're still waiting on. Yes. And that's where I think maybe we that's might right. take a wrong, wrong well, turn. Well, I think so. Plenty. Particularly, as all the commentaries point this out, particularly and expressly because of the following words that I think we haven't yet read, immediately after, perhaps mm -hmm. we did, immediately after or at that time after that, I'm tempted to go southern and say they it. <laughs> Let's get this clear. I'm not talking about any tribulation. The yeah. one I've just described, that's not going to work for 70 AD. Exactly. If, it, if you think it does, then mm. you're back right. to saying the second mm -hmm. coming was right. in 70 AD. Right. Then and you've lost. And now we're losing the big time. picture. We're losing the great scheme of things then, That's a and uh, and that doesn't work very well, I don't think. So no, no, I think no, it's better not. to relax a little bit on these subjects. Yes. Not get headaches trying to yes. impose on these yes. pre or prior events. Yes. Uh, the things that are still mightily ahead of us, yes. and we should be looking for and rejoicing yes. toward. Yes. Uh, and then yes. it begins to relax a little. Say, well, this happened back there. Well, yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. That may even foreshadow the of the course. ultimate. But we're That's still right. looking forward to those ultimate things. But and, otherwise, you interfere with hope. And I've pointed out for years in Colossians 1 5, love and faith are because of hope. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at your own spiritual life, you might want to check the hope element. If you're in a big muddle about the future, it's destroying your faith and your love, mm -hmm. according to Paul. One. So this yeah. is actually makes some sense. God wants us to have the same mind as Christ, and that mind of Christ tells you where you mm -hmm. are on mm -hmm. the journey. Right. Then you can proceed with intelligence. Otherwise, you're liable to be deceived, right. and that's the last thing you want to be. And and your hope begins to get foggy yes. or even lost. And uh, that's right. So uh, that's here's right. this this poor fellow you're mentioning about yeah. uh, the Church of England who has yes. abandoned the faith. He did because he's determined to make it work a certain right. way right. and perhaps missing the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Very so, frail yeah. faith that was incidentally. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, that's why that awful word eschatology, I don't mind it, it's simply eschatos is the Greek word for last or future things. Mm -hmm. It's all right, but it dresses it up in learned language. Yeah. I'm against that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eschatology is simply the science of what happens at the end of this current age mm -hmm. and the age following of the kingdom. It's the whole of Jesus' thing. Absolutely. Don't ignore well, that. Otherwise, you might be throwing away most of your mm -hmm. spiritual power. Mm -hmm. That's right. That would be very well, bad. Well, so I think there's, uh, yeah. uh, and I'm, I'm not prepared to, uh, uh, to uh, renounce the brother who may feel like, well, I want to no. find it back here. No. But on the other hand, I think perhaps mm -hmm. everyone can do better mm -hmm. just by relaxing mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't try to impose right. on circumstances of the past things that actually clearly in the bigger picture right. have not happened. That's right. And uh, so well, okay. Yeah. A couple of books that you and I have shared, you know, the value of Robert oh, yes. Gundry, The Church and the Tribulation. Robert Gundry spent many hours working this very well and, and equally good, even better perhaps, The Approaching Advent of Christ right. by Alexander Rees, yeah. who set out with all the capacity he could muster to show that the Schofield two-stage second coming yes. is not right. Yes, yes. First of all, it's not in Matthew 24. That's mm -hmm. funny. Yes. 
that's a nightmare. That has simply confused everything. So those two books would be very good for your young people who are trained to be apologists. Indeed. To get their minds around the approaching advent of Christ by Rees and the Church of the Tribulation by Robert Gundry. Indeed. Yeah. Well, this is futurism. Yes. But not dispensationalist futurism. It's a, not really too difficult. Think about it. Futurism is that there's still a great tribulation coming through, and there is a second coming beyond yeah. it. Yeah. And that would be called classical futurism. That was held by the early church fathers, for what it's worth, mm -hmm. the ones close by the New Testament times. That's what they got mm -hmm. from John and from the early Christians. That would be classical, sometimes called historical, not historicist, but historical uh, uh, futurism. Yes, yes. Opposed to that, then, would be the Schofield Bible, Darby, who said, no, there must be two second comings. Yes. There must be a parousia for to take the church out of the last times, right. and then another. That doesn't work. Unfortunately, turning ones into twos is fatal in other parts of doctrine. Yes, yeah, that's right. So I don't recommend that. That would be futurist of the dispensational type. That leads to a number of errors, namely that the gospel of the kingdom is not for you at all. It's only for Jews. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't get any worse than that. It, it makes just, you shudder. Oh my it? goodness, yes. yes. Then you've really lost the New terrible, Testament. So terrible stuff. Beware of Schofield, millions of copies. Do much better with Rees and Gundry. Excellent. And F.F. Uh, F. Bruce, also the late F.F. F. Bruce, was very straight. And George Ladd, another oh, yes. very oh, straight yes. on much of this yeah, stuff. Dr. Ladd. The, uh, Dr. Ladd. One thing that then, to, for our viewers who may be not as familiar with all these mm. things, but then we're picturing here not a pre-tribulation rapture right. is right. often That's popularly right. nowadays. That's right. Uh, yeah. Not always been that popular in the no, church, no. but nowadays it's kind of popular yes. among evangelicals. That's right. And But we're not picturing that. We're saying, wait a minute, this coming of Christ, of which there's not two of them, That's right. <laughs> you know, but this coming of Christ is, as is said in verse 24 of this chapter, Yes. but in those days, after that tribulation. Yes. So, it's after the tribulation that Christ comes, of course, and He will find His people not off somewhere else. That's right. He will find them here. So it yes. does look like there may be some tough times ahead well, for yes. the, the Christian so. folks, even yes. tougher than we might yes. have been experiencing along yes. the way. Yeah. And you you mentioned a very important language point there because unfortunately, unfortunately, the phrase rapture has been stolen <laughs> yes. by that complicated system. Yes. So when people say the rapture now, they mean quite unfairly, a pre-tribulation rapture. Yes. That's very unfair. There is a catching up to meet the Lord in the of air. Of course there is. For. That's right. We can call that, it doesn't have the noun rapture anywhere. It has the verb, the idea of being caught up to meet the Lord. That's yes. fine. Yeah. But once you steal that and call it a rapture, and then automatically, without telling anybody what you're doing, call it a pre-tribulation rapture, then everything mm. has become argumentative That's and confused. Right. Very difficult. And... Uh, but uh, actually, the the picture we're seeing here from Mark, from Jesus, uh, is pretty straightforward and easy. It is. That, it is. Uh, not so happy, but it is easy. Yes. The, the, we're coming out of a long era and time mm -hmm. of difficulties. We always mm -hmm. have that. That's part of life. It's mm -hmm. part of our circumstance. Absolutely. Uh, but all of that is perhaps just a foreshadowing of the yes. time of difficulties right. that tribulate, the great tribulation. Yeah, exactly. There's other tribulations. This is the great right. tribulation, well, so to speak. Right. And then, yes. actually, we know that Christians will encounter that, yes. but Christ comes one time mm -hmm. at the end of that yes. tribulation. Yes. So right after that tribulation. Immediately after, then in that those will days happen. after that's that. Right, that's very, that's very well said. I think even in your teenage years, as you grew up, and, and you did it into Bible much yes. more than I, you don't remember the term rapture being thrown around in those days in the same way. Not as much, Not I think, much, it, right. but it's become a rather yes. pop, I don't want to say a pop doctrine, a pop idea, but popular in so many ways. Is out. Hal but, Lindsay was yeah. well known for the get me out of here books, yes right? yes that's Left right behind. yes the notion would be that god would not ever allow his bride his people to be on the earth during the great tribulation now we have to add this you can escape the great tribulation not by being resurrected or taken to heaven but in your own house what did jesus say when you see these things happening get ready to flee now what happens in georgia i don't know 
Yeah. God will have to work that That's out. That's right. But if you don't need to be tribulated and tried any more extremely, you don't need to prove your Christianity yeah. by martyrdom, but, then God doesn't need to put but, you through that great tribulation. And, and seek or find a safer place. Yes. And that's okay. That's fine. And in fact, that's Jesus' encouragement. That is. That's his words. That's he it. doesn't say, now you won't go through this. No. no he says, it's going to come, but here's yes. what you do. Find or seek a safer or a better place right. where that perhaps it, it'll be okay or you yeah. will get through that. But at the end of this, no matter what else we may say, then Christ comes once right. and for all. The That's old right. age is brought to an end. The new age is entered. That's after key. The end by and end. that's the question as worded by Matthew 24. What will be the sign, Jesus, of your parousia and end of the age? Yes. That's one thing. Yes, yes. Not two. The question was right because they all understood Daniel to mm -hmm. that extent. Jesus did and they did. Right. When you're reading Jesus talking to his own students, you have to try to imagine what was in the minds of these people, not what's in your mind. You may not even have been a good <laughs> right. student. So what will be the sign of your coming, parousia, and end of the age? Mm -hmm. That is absolutely inextricably one idea. Mm -hmm. And he answers that question, and some people say, no, he didn't give any signs, so then Jesus could come back today. No, that's false. Mm -hmm. Then he wouldn't have answered that question. Right. The teacher doesn't ignore the student's question. <laughs> And the signs are these, these awful events. And you, you made another good point. You can have much tribulation now. It says in Acts 14, 22, that we're all going through much tribulation. Exactly. That's not the same as the great one tribulation. great tribulation. That's right. Got that and, uh, clear. and let's let's quit trying to make Christ coming into two mm. different events and two all different. of that. It's a very... No. It's not good. Like the two you know, natures of yeah. Jesus, you know, Jesus is yeah. not one, he's two yeah. natures. Jesus doesn't talk about, now at my first second coming, and, uh, and then my second second coming, that's just uh, it's uh, conjecture. It's, 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 that's right. It's, uh, so. I think so. Yep. All right. All right. Well, let's see the conclusion of this mm -hmm. then in verse 32. Mm -hmm. But concerning that day or that hour, yes. no one knows. Yes. Not even the angels in heaven, yes. nor the Son, but only the Father. Isn't that amazing? Mm. That, of course, has created a tremendous rumpus. Mm. What do you mean Jesus, who is supposed to be God, you didn't know? <laughs> That's right. Now you've got a God who doesn't know. That's and the right. efforts to deal with that are really quite pathetic. Yeah. Well, he didn't know in his God, in his man nature, he didn't know, they say. <laughs> but in his God nature, he did. Or he's pretending not to know, but he really does. Mm -hmm. That should be a warning sign that something has gone oh, my goodness, terribly yeah. wrong. Yeah. Oh my lands. The uh, well, I think uh, very clearly, uh, Jesus is announcing right then and there that the angels in heaven don't know this, and the, the Son Himself does not know oh, this. Yes. Uh, nobody knows except the Father, which means if the Holy Spirit is someone separate from the Father, even the Holy Spirit doesn't know. I suppose <laughs> under that scenario, Jesus Himself did not know no, he said that. these this time, this right. circumstance. And how long will it, would it be? How long will it take until God is ready? That's right. In his own counsel, in his own plans, yes. God has a program at work. And when it reaches yes. the place that he's ready to call it quits right. on this current age, he will close it down. But you know, I think I'm, in some ways, I'm, we got here, we're here. If he had closed it down before we got here, I don't know. I guess we wouldn't have been here at all. <laughs> so, no. so I'm kind of happy. Maybe he was looking at folks coming along, we would such as been, ourselves yes. and everyone else. We wouldn't have been pre-existent. Yeah. We would have been non-existent. Right. That's right. So I'm glad we are allowed to be in, in life. This, that's know? right. We're talking about mm -hmm. these exciting yeah. things. That would have been out that's of right. the question. Yeah. And the fact that we're here shows that the age that was yes. is still the age that is. It hasn't concluded the yet. Present and Christ evil indeed. Age. Exactly. All of this terminology is so clarifying for me as, yeah. as a Church of England boy who really knew nothing about the Bible, mm -hmm. and I don't mean to be harsh on it, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. This is illuminating. We've got the program now. I see how this yes. works. Yes, yes. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Okay. Verse 33 mm -hmm. Be on guard, mm -hmm. keep awake. Yes. For you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, mm. each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Mm -hmm. Therefore, stay awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come, mm -hmm. in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, mm. lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. Mm. 
And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. So. Some people, Dan, have made that an excuse to say that there are no signs for the second coming. Mm -hmm. But notice he says, if you're alert, the signs will be meaningful. Yes. If you fall asleep, in Matthew's version, but if that faithful servant falls asleep, yes. then the Son of Man will come at a time when he simply doesn't know. And he won't get it. That's right. no. He won't see it. Paul says the same thing exactly in Second Thessalonians. He says, but the day of the Lord, the second coming, the parousia, mm -hmm. will not overtake you, provided you're listening to what Paul is teaching. Isn't that amazing that 2,000 years ago, Paul went through all of this after founding the church in Thessalonica in three weeks? Yes, yes. Don't you remember, I used to preach this to you when I preached you the gospel. <laughs> That's right. That's staggering to me. Yeah, I love it. Well, anyway, this is great, great, uh, great stuff, it I think. It is wonderful. Stuff. It works wonderfully to me, and I do I know this. So. Yes. Uh, we, uh, we will not wish away the second coming of Christ no. or wish away our place Absolutely. by saying, well, it happened back there. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me, but we're here. We're still here. Why put the future and behind And the you? second coming that happens immediately after That's the right. tribulation, That's key. we're right. still looking for that. And it's ahead of immediately us. Immediately after. Yeah. Surely it's not so far out as... As it used to be, no. we're, we're approaching that. Every day stress. And we might look and observe, but yeah. I think we still have a little time here, don't you think? I, I think the yes, work I of think God so. is not done. I, I, don't think, I would think, because yeah. you, you, you read the verse, this gospel of the kingdom, note Matthew's mm. careful definition, yes. not this gospel only, but this gospel about the kingdom of God has to be published throughout the economy, throughout right. the world. Exactly. And then only will the end come when you therefore see the mm. abomination. That's mm. the sign of the end. Mm. Exactly. The logic is inexplicable. Yes. If you're into languages at all, and that happens to be the thing that I work at, it's very well written here because yes. it's, it's logical and consistent. Mm -hmm. And any other attempt to do this is so bad, it falls apart, clearly. It gets uh, very, very confusing. Very confusing. And, and then all of a sudden you've got some yes. notable Church of England cleric. Yes. Resigning, because he's, he's, he's resigning yes. from the faith. Or people writing all, a book. Yeah, and all that sort of Indeed. business. It's why right. isn't it? Do you remember it said 88 reasons oh, my land, yes. why Jesus has to come back yes. in 1988. Mm. Uh, and then this 89, is, why he yeah. didn't come back in, and he sold a lot of books. No. The public is very hungry for these yeah. dates. I would recommend setting no dates at all. Of course. Keeping an eye That's on right. the Middle East particularly to see sure. what happens. Sure. And getting busy preaching the yeah. gospel of the kingdom. If you exactly. want to hasten the day, exactly. get busy preaching the yeah. gospel of the kingdom. Yeah. And then the end will come. But uh, these things about exactly how, when, and mm. so on, mm. in all these matters, are in the counsel of God. Absolutely. He's given us some yes. understanding. He's yes. given us a picture here. Keep the, the big scheme of things, yes. God's plan. Keep it in mind. Don't yes. abrogate that by trying to impose That's things right. in ways that God doesn't really... I mean, He doesn't have to act according to our no. our determinations. We just have to follow and, and work along and trust in Him. Yes. And when He's ready, He will call yes. an end to this age. And uh, That's at absolutely. that time, we will see, yes. I think, some very remarkable things concluded by the visible, the visible second tremendous second coming Christ in which he ushers in the, the age of, of the kingdom of, the of God. Come. That's right.